So hi again, my name is Nicole Grenan. We're out here on yet another Heritage Monitoring Scouts mission. And today we are back in Blackwater River State Forest attempting to relocate a 20th century mill site. And so we've come to an area in the park. This is a, a creek or a stream called Coon Camp Stream. Um, and then our, our river is just to the south of us. And the site was originally documented in 1992 and no one has really come out here since then uh, to relocate it and to see what's happened in those last 30 years. And so the actual mill site doesn't appear to be present on the landscape, but what we were able to identify was a dam structure that would have been used to uh, promote or inhibit the flow of water at the site. And we think that the mill that was here was a grist mill, so they were grinding grains into really small uh, particles that would you, you would later use for cooking. Um, and so we were successful in finding some of that dam structure. Of course, a lot of these mills relied on the flow of water from streams and the river in their daily operations. Yeah, a lot of the sites that we're visiting in Blackwater River State Forest are actually down kind of relic or maybe still active logging roads. So they tend to be a little bumpier because the trucks and the machines that are traveling down these roads are a lot bigger than the cars that we're using. So we've made sure to use our four wheel drive vehicles to get out here. And especially after lots of rain like we've had in the last couple of days, uh, there are big puddles that we have to navigate through to get to or at least get close to the sites that we're trying to visit. So it definitely takes some um, off-roading skills or a sense of adventure to get out to these sites. So since we have been working in a state forest, a lot of these areas are actively maintained for logging purposes or for forestry purposes. And one of the things that we've had to contend with when planning where we're gonna go to visit our sites is controlled burns. And so controlled burns are a way for the forest uh, to actively manage their site to prevent major fires from happening. It's actually a very healthy and natural process for the forests here um, to burn periodically. And so they do that during periods of time when the weather is amenable. So for us as archaeologists, coming into areas that have been recently burned is actually really beneficial because it gets a, rid of a lot of the ground cover like pine needles and leaves and things that have been kind of building up over the long winter and allows us to better see any artifacts that are on the ground. And so some of the artifacts that we pretty commonly find out here are what are known as hurdy cups. This is a little tiny piece of hurdy cup that we just came across on the trail. It's uh, isolated, fine, but this was used in the turpentine industry, which was pretty big in Northwest Florida in the late 1800s, early 1900s. We'll put that back and record it. Here is more hurdy cup. I'm finding a lot of this around here. It's a nice piece, nice piece, nice hurdy cup. Pretty cup. So one of the questions we often get is how do we know how old a site is when we visit it? And the quick answer to that is we look at the artifacts and the material culture of the site. And so visiting this mill site and the leftover dam that we've got, what we see kind of sticking out at regular intervals on some of these vertical posts are piling are nails. And just by looking at the shape of the nail, we can tell roughly how old the site is. And the nails that are associated with this structure are what we call wire nails. And these are very uh, modern and recent nails. They have a, a circular kind of cutaway profile. And so that tells us that the site was probably constructed sometime in the 20th century.